So it's half past Sparrow's fart in the morning. Myself and a bunch of like-minded volunteers <clears throat> have got together and we've started up a young farmers club, Garavelli Young Farmers, and we're, um, we're really excited that uh, the Royal Agricultural Society of Victoria have got behind us, um, along with a number of really important corporate sponsors and community partners, and we've now got this little thriving group of kids that are super keen on agriculture. And they're kids that might not have had the opportunity to run some sheep or get their hands on cattle or, or do anything like that in their normal lives, but they've jumped on this club because, let's face it, agriculture's a passion. And these kids are developing a passion with the guidance of some adults. So come along with us today as we go to a little show that we've set up in preparation for these kids' amazing debut at the Royal Melbourne Show this year showing off their cattle and sheep that they've been looking after for six months as part of this club. It's a really exciting day. So we're here with Mike oh, no, from the no, Danny no, Long no. Show. <laughs> I don't do this. Yeah, 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 you do. Awesome later, stuff. Later. Hey kids, you excited? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, kids. Okay. Alright kids, it's been an early start. Are you excited for the show? Yeah. 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 What okay. what sheep are you showing? Tell everyone. I'm showing a Romney. Yeah. I've got a baby doll south down. And your baby doll south down is a little bit of stropolis, isn't it? But you've been working hard on it, Amy. Yeah, so we're going to have to bear that in mind, aren't we? All right, get into it, kids. Let's unload the animals. Craig, so you're one of the parent volunteers here today. Um, thanks for taking that footage before of the briefing. It's really important that we start these kids out the right way, isn't it? The kids can take charge, and that way they're learning, and um, hopefully they can have a good show today and uh, mm. learn some uh, life lessons as well. It's so. pretty exciting as a parent too to see your kid sort of take charge of an animal and show maturity and everything else like that. Absolutely. Now, Liv's what, in year eight year at the eight. moment? Correct. And um, she's really developing through this program, isn't she? She is, yep. Yeah. And uh, hopefully she can take a leadership role over the next couple of years and um, we as the committee can start handing things over to, to well, the kids. That's the thing. We, we needed to step in and start this as parents, but really young farmers needs to be about the young farmers, Correct. doesn't it? That's yeah. right. Yep. So what we're looking for out there in the community around Australia is like-minded groups of parents like Craig who want to get together and start something amazing and start competing against these other crew and get kids going, get them off the couch, off the iPhone, onto the animals and thinking about a future career which makes them go better in school. Absolutely. Yep. Cheers, mate. Good well on you, mate. Okay, so ladies, it's not all about cows and sheep today, is it? We've also got some chickens. Yep, it's really, It's really important that we start out with the little animals. Yeah. Because um, sometimes the little animals are pretty spunky, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they're very spunky. Do you want to tell us about your chickens very quickly that you've got at the show today? Do you want to come over and we'll have a look at the chickens? She's a Polish crested. Oh, okay. Um, and she gets her name after the little feathery beard sort of thing on her head. <laughs> like a little pom-pom head, she gets the name from that. She's pretty cute, isn't she, Jalisha? Um, yeah. How old is she? Um, she's around one year old and she's laying almost every day now, so that's really good. The other really important thing about what's happening here is that our class is being judged and the kids with the animals are being you know, scrutinised and um, given tips for, to improve. But also our judges are also inexperienced. They're learning how to judge through this program. So we've got really good mentors that are guiding them through the process, but it's an all-round learning experience. Something that, as a club, we're really proud of doing. Don't freak out if something goes wrong with your animal. Um, we are all here to help you, okay? We're not gonna make you try and fix that on your own, but um, just try and stay calm. Like, you're not gonna be shot down immediately if your animal gets off or if something goes wrong. It's how you handle these situations and how you handle yourself. So just remain calm, talk to your animal, 
Um, yeah, and try and take in as much as we tell you for Melbourne. We've got a huge um, sponsor for this program, which is the Royal Agricultural Society of Victoria. Annie, you're from the RASV. Yes, yeah. And we're really excited to be working with you to promote youth and get youth into showing and into animals. Um, this is a huge program for us because all the kids aren't necessarily off farms, they haven't necessarily had animals before, and the support of an organisation like yours is just incredible. Um, so what was it that attracted you to this program? Look, I think there's a gap in, um, in currently with novice kids being able to have the opportunities um, into the agricultural world and this is a great stepping stone for them to have an influence into what we do at, at shows but also as, as a society as well. So um, it's really great. I was fortunate enough to grow up on a farm and, and mm. have training since a little tacker but these kids didn't have that opportunity. So yeah. being able to give back um, I think is pretty important and, um, and it's really connecting us with the next generation as well. And, it, and it's absolutely huge that the RSV is stepping up as an organisation with its huge, um, its huge tr tradition and history in agriculture, and you're actually making a difference. You're making an effort to make a difference in bringing youth into agriculture. Absolutely. So it's it's vital, yeah. and we can't thank you enough. Thank you. That's awesome. So now we've got chicken judging happening, um, and the girls are being judged by um, some current Year 12 students who are members of Young Farmers, and uh, let's have a listen to what's going on. So, um, what show feed is she on? Is she on a specific She's animal? on um, some carrots and corn kernels with um, yeah. sunflower seeds. And those are just really good for nutrition yeah. and, um, yeah, good quality. So, is she currently laying at the moment? Um, yeah, she lays around um, right, one you. egg every couple of days. Yeah. But she's quite young still, six months. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's quite nice. So, um, what was the process you got to get me to show condition today? Um, so, I... Um, we oiled her breast and her um, the red parts, and yeah, yeah. Um, we like I um, I softened up her feathers and um, put them in place, and yeah. I also um, tried to get most of the dirt out of her feet and clean them. Oh, awesome job! Quite a lot, um, and she's a bantam size, so she's not full. And originally they were bred for their meat and eggs, but now they've been shown a lot more. Yeah, and they're quite popular at shows now. How old is she? Um, she's still a pullet, she's around 24 weeks old or so. Wow, okay, and so what type of feed is she on? Um, she's on lame pellets and she gets the sunflower seeds and scraps yeah. and corn and maize, that kind of stuff. And now we're marshalling the sheep. Let's go and have a talk to a few of the competitors before they go in the ring and see how we're going. Em, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah. Feeling keen. <laughs> feeling keen? Feeling a bit nervous? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. it's alright. Yeah. Roger's a good boy. It's a, it's a bit of a difference from the University of Melbourne Agriculture, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just Coming a in bit. here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's good brands out the experience a bit. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Sure yeah. does. Feeling ready to go? Yep. Awesome. G'day, Roger. How are we going, Scarlett? Good. Ready for the ring? Yeah. Feeling excited? A bit nervous. A bit nervous? Yeah. Some nerves is good, isn't it? Yeah. How do you cope with being nervous? Um, good. Good? A little bit. Yeah. You got any tricks? Got any tips for those kids out there who'd never think of ever entering a, a show before? Um, just probably staying calm, just looking after your animal and talking to her. So the focus is on the animal today, isn't it? Yeah. It's not about you, it's about the animal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. for the competitors now as they're in the main judging ring and having their sheep judged not only based on the confirmation of the animal but what they've done to the animal and how they've cared for it over the last six months to bring it to this point. Judging in the Young Farmers Livestock Challenge is more about the kids and their care of the animal than it is about the breed of the animal or the quality of the animal. So it's not how much you spend in buying the animal, it's how much you care for it and how much you bond with it. So when uh, last Saturday. Yeah. So how old is this? Oh, sorry. Uh, she's just shy 
shy of the year. been the standout features of the class? What have they done well? Uh, most of them standing them up. Yeah. They're yeah. standing them up really well. Yeah. yeah. And um, in the lineup, there's a fair bit of like judge awareness. They kind of know where we are and yeah, yeah. Just like presentation. They're all dressed really yeah. well. And So Helen, you've Hi. been our wonderful steward today. What's it like to actually look after these kids and see them develop over the last oh, six months? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. It's great to see them come from uh, getting their animals just straight out of the paddock and having no experience to uh, being in a show ring and their presentation and you know, smiling yeah. at the judge and everything like that was fantastic. It brings, it's very heartwarming, actually. It brings joy, doesn't it? It is really like, heartwarming. If there, if there are people out there who are involved in ag, who are wondering about where the next generation is coming from and what's going to happen, mm -hmm. like they should do, they should do this program. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we need to start yep. these programs around the state, around the country, yep. Yep. and we need to get youth off their computers and their iPhones, back into the paddock Absolutely. and enjoying And it's so much things. more than just this, it's the behind oh. the scenes of feeding and looking after and nurturing and um, you know developing not only the animal but themselves as a human being and, and growing up. Mm. Mm. And it, it, like, I'm, I'm a teacher of, of one of your children Yes. and um, watching Molly grow up over the last four years yep. or five years that she's been involved in young farmers, like it really does have an impact on their academic life and their aspirations, doesn't it? For sure, for sure. What She's very, noticed? very passionate and comes such a long way with her ag and, yeah. Um, yeah, very passionate about the whole industry. And it is the career that she's chosen. Which is um, amazing. Which started it? out as just a young farmer. Just a kid petting yep. a goat yep. in paddock. Yep, absolutely. And now she's got her own cattle And she's stud. very passionate, yes. Isn't yep. amazing? And competing for the first time at Royal Melbourne this year, uh, privately with her for own her, heifer. For herself, yep. yeah. Yep. Isn't that amazing? So, great. All yep. right. Good Thank on you, you, Helen. Thank you. National event. Actually, the most important part happens after the showing, where all the participants get critical feedback. So our judges are learning how to communicate and give feedback to our participants using animals as an example. Let's go and have a look and see what happens. Uh, to start off with the presentation, you guys all did awesome in dressing up. You had your um, polished shirts on, your jeans, your boots. They were nice and polished. You guys just looked really schmick. You had your hats on and everything. <laughs> 
so we don't get those lines and pull all the hair up towards the ear. Always. And on the legs as well, you want to come up towards the ear. Once you've got the top line clipped down, you'll be able to see the difference in where you comb. Once again, you guys all, I saw you all trimming your shape, trimming their fleece and all that. But a few key things was, I saw a lot of you trimming on the side of your shape. You really want to go the way the fleece grows, so it grows down. So you want to trim down to give it a smooth, smooth finish. Um, you can also like fluff it up a bit and then trim it because you really want your shape to look really chunky in that. Um, which it just adds like volume to it, fleece makes them look a bit bigger. Um, and then yeah, just trimming down. Same with the face, with like a few of you doing you quite get it all off. Um, trimming down across the hair because the hair grows down. It makes sure you don't leave like, if you trim up, there'll be like a solid line that you leave. Important to remember, make sure it's just between the two fingers. It just has to be there for a little tug. Just enough so you can kind of go like that. He can feel that, he knows it's there, he knows it's there. So we want to make sure this is our main pulling point. You don't want to be pulling off the nose. And that'll have you more yeah. He won't crack it as much at you. If that starts jumping, they're gonna you're gonna lose control of them. So you want to make sure you have your hand right there, right near their chin. So if they start mucking around, you have a lot more control. When you're walking them around, also, take them to be a judge. You wanna also show off the sheep. So you're showing them off making sure they stand really nice. Also, eye contact is really key. The judges will absolutely love you if you're looking at them and smiling. Being a participant in the Young Farmers Livestock Challenge also means you're a participant in the cleanup. Oh, well, I grew up on a farm and I don't have one now, so I think it's good for him to see it and see what rural life's all about and different aspects. Uh, work with animals. What do you see yourself doing into the future, mate? Um, well, probably ag science. Okay. Yeah. And what, what's your most, what's your favourite bit of ag science? Um, well, getting to work with other people and animals. Oh, yeah, cousin in yeah. Ireland. He'd like to go over there and work on a dairy farm. I think I grew up on a dairy farm, but yeah, then there's not so many around as what there used to be. Yeah. So, cattle are probably more your style, yeah. aren't they? So, uh, young probably, farmers is an opportunity yeah. to get him yeah. back into that? Yeah. So it, it gives you it, it gives you uh, interest in it so yeah if he, if he wants to pursue that this is a great way to learn a to little learn bit and then yeah. have a look at that and then you can go and maybe work in the industry then okay Stacy what does it mean to you to be involved in young farmers um, being involved with young farmers is fun and a chance to learn a lot more about farming and agriculture you see a career for yourself in ag yeah so what might young farmers lead to for you, Stacey? Um, working with animals <laughs> as a career. Brilliant. As a parent of a young person involved in a livestock challenge, what does it mean to you um, to be able to have the opportunity with the kids? Um, a good way of teaching them new things, watching them learn and develop, seeing them how they grow with all of it, getting other, other ones that not are involved with the challenge, involved with the challenge. So it's a great way of getting yeah. kids into ag. Into ag, seeing what farming's all about, and it's not just, you know, a whole heap of hard work and long hours. <laughs> Young farmers give them the opportunity to, you know, for parents to get involved, see what their kids are doing, um, seeing how they grow and develop with it and give them more life skills.